sitting out here and, and, and walking through the neighborhood and just looking at the beauty of the world and nature and everything that God has created. And, and I came across a message that the world may offer something that is sweeter than what God has to offer you. Just, for example, take, take Moses. Remember, Moses was adopted by the king of Egypt, the Pharaoh. Not the king, the Pharaoh. Was adopted by Pharaoh. He had it all. But in the book of Hebrews, it talks about that, you know, he gave all that up to do the will of God. And to be honest, from the human perspective, the wilderness, 40 years in the wilderness was nothing like being in, in the palace with Pharaoh. From the human perspective, Moses lost out. But in, the, in context of the bigger picture, that Moses passing up on that, that season of sin for the bigger picture, which was which is eternity with God, is the same thing we face today. The world offers some good stuff that tastes better, feels better than what God's will is. They look like they're having more fun than we're having. But in, in context to the big picture, that nobody will live on this earth forever that you we are all going to have a funeral unless the Lord comes back in the big picture of things in context the will of God is so much better than anything this world has to offer